Hi, and welcome to section 4, Autofill Framework, working with autofill clients and services. In this section, we're going to learn what autofill clients and services are, how to optimize your application for autofill, how to create your own autofill service, and how to enable or disable specific autofill services. But first, let's have a look at the most important terms that we are going to need in this video, which is going to be autofill services, which are apps installed on your device that pose or define as an autofill service, which means that they can fill data into other applications. One example for such an autofill service would be a password manager, which is commonly used to fill out forms. It's also important to notice that there can be multiple autofill services on your device installed, but only one can be active at a time. And it's actually the user who chooses which one that is. And secondly, there are autofill clients, which define as applications that provide hints to autofill services about what kind of data certain views in their user interface, such as edit texts, are interested in. Optimizing your app for autofill. Before we are getting started with actually optimizing our application for autofill, it's important that we get to know the most important view attributes required for actually optimizing our application for autofill. And the first one of those important attributes is actually called Android important for autofill. And what this attribute basically does is it informs the Android system what a specific field or view should be included in a view structure for autofill. In default mode, which is automatic, the system will, as the name indicates, automatically determine if the view is important or not using heuristics. It's also possible to specifically set this attribute to yes or no, which would then mean that the specific field is or is not included in a structure for autofill. And the second important attribute is called Android Autofill Hints. And this attribute allows an autofill service to determine which kind of data an autofillable field accepts. So you might have an edit text that is used for password input. In that case, it might be important to actually let an autofill service know that only passwords should be filled into this edit text. All right, I'm back here at my uh, main activity. And before we are actually starting to optimize our application for autofill, let's have a look at our layout structure of the main activity. So as you can see here, I have defined a simple edit text, which we are going to optimize for autofill. I also have a button in here, which is currently set to gone. So you can safely ignore that for now. We are going to need it later on actually. All right. So as a first step, we are going to make use of the attributes that I just mentioned to make this edit text optimized for autofill. The first attribute that we're going to set is called autofill hints, and we're going to set it to password, for example. And the second attribute that we're going to use is the important for autofill attribute, and we're going to set that to yes for now. I would recommend that you actually leave this in default mode, which is automatic, and just let the Android system decide by itself which kind of fields should be autofilled. So let's run this application and have a look at our emulator to see if this edit text is already autofillable. Should come up in just a second, and then we're going to see our results. So if I now click in here, we should actually see an autofill dialog coming up, suggesting passwords for our edit text. That is not the case right now, 
because the default autofill service, and we've heard earlier that only one can be active at a time, is the Google autofill service. And as I'm not logged in in this emulator, it doesn't know which kind of passwords it would fill this field with. So in order to actually allow some autofill suggestions here, we have to create our own autofill service, which we are going to do in the next video to show some data here. For now, I will just also guide you through the settings and show you how you can actually choose between different autofill services. So you go to system settings and then to languages and input. And then we can actually expand this advanced section here and you should find an entry called autofill service. And if you click here, you can choose between the different autofill services installed on the device. By default, it's the Google autofill service. And as I've mentioned before, in the next section, we're going to create our own autofill service, which is this one, enable it, and then again, check our results for autofill and if it actually works then. Aside from uh, these layout attributes, it's also possible to set autofill hints via code. So I'm also going to show you that right now. For that, we just head back to our main activity and access the edit text. And then we can make use of the set autofill hints function to actually set autofill hints for this edit text. And what's very nice here in comparison to setting it via layout attributes is that we can make use of the view class and it's autofill constants, which already provides predefined values for password, name, or email address, or username, which are probably the most common ones that you are going to be using in your application. It's also possible to set the important for autofill property. Again, edit text. And then we can choose between the different importances for autofill. For now, I'm just going to set it to auto. And this should yield just the same result as doing it via layout attributes.